Today I'm going to be making a rose gold ring from scratch. And when I say scratch, I mean scratch. We're starting with the basic elemental compounds. I have pure gold here, pure copper, and pure silver. I'm going to be mixing these to make my own alloy of rose gold. Now I'll go ahead and pour the liquid rose gold into a graphite mold here. Lengthening the piece, I'm just switching over to the different section of the roller that has the dome profile. That'll imprint the shape onto the gold bar. All right, I've got the circular shape where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess rose gold here, and then we'll take it over to the laser welder and we'll get this thing connected. Now I'm using my Orion laser welder for this step. Traditionally, you'd see people solder a ring like this together, but a laser welder will actually leave you with much stronger results, so that's why I prefer doing this. And the filler material you see me adding, this is a rose gold wire. It's not rose gold solder, it's just actual rose gold, so the ring that we're left with is just gonna be that much more pure. Now I'll smooth down that laser welding joint and then we can move on to the sanding and polishing steps. And for this, it's very straightforward. I'm starting with the inside first. I'm just going through all my different grits of sandpaper, starting at 220 grit and ending at 1500. Then I hit it with an AstroTech polish to give it that final mirror reflective finish. And then I repeat the exact same steps on the outside. Now here it is, this ring is finished. It was a lot of work, but it was definitely worth it. It's just so satisfying to start with the most basic of ingredients and just go through every single possible step. I think it just makes the ring itself a lot more special.